Hey everybody, uh, this is the Zopto review and tutorial. And essentially the review that I'm gonna give is simply this, that it's amazing. Um, I know that there's other tools out there that will kind of offer the same thing for maybe a little bit more. And uh, really what they're including, what they're selling you on is um, copywriting um, and helping you do the copywriting. Um, and they're just marking up that that amount. So you're actually going to be able to save a lot of money. Uh, it's really just a, uh, once you set it up, it takes, um, it takes about 10 minutes to set up a campaign and you could run it for about the week and it runs in the background. So this platform runs on a cloud. Um, you don't need to be inside LinkedIn in order to have it be running. And it's going to be a great tool for you to have. That's going to just be an extra added, uh, piece for you to help automate some of your tools. Now, I'm a recruiter, so I, I do need to pick out people who are specific, but this also helps catch some of the people who might be in the weeds who maybe don't even have some of their LinkedIn optimized. And so this helps me to continue to reach out to people um, as well as I do my own personal touch points. So that's an added benefit. Also, this can be used to get clients as well. Um, you can so let me show you uh, what you do. So what you want to do is you first come here to campaigns um, and you could build out different campaigns. So I have um, some roles that I'm looking for and then also some client outreach. And so you can, um, I just, it's just me, I'm a solo guy. So you can um, end up having several different users if you wanted to, it just depends upon what you want to be using Zopto for. But, uh, you can have two campaigns running at the same time on the uh, basic tier level, which I have. And so you could be having a candidate search and a client outreach going and running for you automated. And it will automate until it is done reaching out to this many people. So what you want to do is you end up going to uh, – you end up going to Sales Navigator. You do need Sales Navigator in, tor in order to be able to accomplish this. So let's say that you're looking for, uh, you know, uh, people in the healthcare industry, and you're looking for, uh, you want to make sure that you're reaching out to, you know, people in the, you know, I don't know, um, Colorado area. Let's see. Denver, let's see, Denver metropolitan area in the healthcare industry, and you're looking to reach out to, you know, any kind of vice president, and you want them to be in the healthcare industry, right? So, hospital and healthcare. Okay, so look, right there, we have 694 vice presidents. You, what you would be able to do is you'd be able to click this. You'd be able to upload uh, that into Zopto. So what you want to do is you create a campaign. And let's say VP Outreach Denver CEO. Um, whatever the name you want it to be, right? So you you upload that link in here. You ignore your first degree profiles because you want to generate new people that you're going to be connecting with. And you could either have the option of include profiles locked in a previous campaign or include profiles that have already responded. So you could include people who have, who have responded, um, you know, Many times if they have responded and they haven't added you, they're not looking to add you. So um, normally it's already set up for you for the way that you should be doing this. So once you click create campaign, it says creating campaign and it'll upload it down here. There we go. Now it's updating the healthcare outreach and it's going to take some time. And so what we want to prepare for is – So here it's going to start uploading the profiles as it generates that that uh, that campaign. You have the ability to have this campaign running. You know, I like to do even a little bit earlier. 
And here we go. You save schedule. That does the schedule. Sometimes I even like to do Sundays, maybe a little bit maybe a little bit later and a little bit later here because people are probably with their families, but might be gearing up to get ready to go to work. So anyway, that's the way I like to do it. And um, so you could set a profile view so you can show that you went on their profile and you don't have to do that. So I like to, uh, you know, many times I don't even do that one. I just recently set up a Twitter and so Twitter has been running, but you could, like their Twitter page. Um, these are the most important right here though. Profile invites, what you do is you set the maximum number you want to do per day. You could do as many as one to 100. Uh, I'm not sure why you would only do one, but they have it as an option for you. And then you can create templates. So you have templates for what you would want to say in your invite. So, you know, when you uh, connect to invite and it says that you can send a personal note. That's what this is. So you end up creating a template that will, uh, you know, Hey, first name. Hey, Joe, I'm John. After reviewing your profile, I thought it might be mutually beneficial for us to connect. Very common. Um, and, uh, you, you hope it would be mutually beneficial for you to connect and you can tell them that you viewed their profile by doing that. And technically, uh, they see that you have viewed their profile. Um, now, uh, you know that there are people you want to be working with cause they're decision makers. So you don't really need to, um, view their profile. You could view their name. So, um, technically you have reviewed them. And uh, if that's a hiccup for you, uh, I know that has been for me in the past. So then you could do free email notes. So you could say, uh, choose any free email saying, Hey, you know, and there's people who actually do have um, access to doing free emails. It's not very common, but I mean, if you could send out 10 and, you know, a matter of a week or two and, and people respond to those, it's just another way for people to respond. Um, and then here, here's the, the biggest piece right here is sequencing. And what um, you get to do is you get to build out different sequences. So you can add a step here, add another step, add another step, add another step, up to four steps. So you can make these you know, one day later, you could say, cool, thanks for connecting. Um, and that lets them know, oh, yep, yeah, cool, I'm here. And then um, you can um, have a sequence of follow-up messages that are just running on autopilot for you. So that's that's where the that's where the gold is because you, you, you get to continue to put yourself in front of them so that you begin to be highlighted to them. And that's what matters. That's what's going to help differentiate you in, in your process. Um, and you could do that for both, you know, clients and candidates. Sometimes it takes people a long time to respond. Not everybody is on LinkedIn all the time. Uh, maybe vice presidents are, and maybe decision makers can be, uh, but sometimes even candidates aren't as much. And um, so anyway, having this multiple reach out, um, you know, finally on your last reach out, you just say, you know, this is my, where, where, where's my final one? Um uh, you know, I think it's this one. Here's my final check in. So I don't bother any further. Um, are you interested in chatting? If not, uh, who do you know that would be a great fit? Whatever, whatever it is you want to say here, right? So those are the ways to, um, really help automate your LinkedIn. Now, all you do is you end up once all the profiles get loaded. Um, so we want to go back to campaign and see if they've started. So they're beginning to fetch the profiles. So this is loading there. This, this number of, uh, should go up to about 650 or so what we had already put in there. So that's the only thing you do have to wait, but while you're waiting, you could always go here and create your template. So create your invite on that, on that, uh, campaign you, create an in-mail, which is like a little bit of longer form, uh, still not too long, but something that lets people know who you are if you'd like to create that. And then your sequences. So sequence one, sequence two. So the way you would do that is you would say, um, you know, 
following up, whatever you want to call it. And you would say, hi. And what's cool is it's got this uh, variable insert that you put in here. Hi, uh, you know, hi, Joe. Um, I'm interested, um, uh, you know, uh, following up on my previous message. You know, you could say that. Um, many times you could even take this out on a message like this. Um, you know, if it's, uh, you know, could just be thanks for connecting. You could say thanks for connecting. So, you know, simple. Something super simple that helps keep putting your name in front of people, you know? And so that will help you do that. What's cool is they have this inbox feature, which um, helps to indicate people who have actually responded to some of your outreach. And you could check that out. And you could actually, they just implemented this, rewrite back messages to some of the people um, through the platform. So that's something that's super, super cool and has been a game changer um, in helping uh, me to be successful on this platform. So, um, so it, it may not be as much of a game changer as what I'm saying, but ultimately, um, the it, it's just nice to have that indication of that. So, this is a great tool for you to have. It's not very expensive at all. Um, compared to some of the other marketing tools that you could be using out there. And this also just helps to put another iron in the fire towards what you're trying to accomplish. You may even want to just use this for business outreach and business development. And people are landing, you know, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 clients with this process alone. So I'm going to be sharing the link. Uh, I have my affiliate link. Uh, somewhere in the description and you will be able to go and sign up for Zopto to be able to use it. They don't offer a free trial, but I'm telling you right now, uh, it is worth the, the upfront initial investment for you to be able to get some connections going on autopilot, hundred connections a day. That's going to be 2000 connections a month. And uh, the last thing that I think will be super beneficial, um, something for you to do is it has global limits. So what you want to set your global limits to be. And then this right here is another uh, awesome piece. A lot of the time when you send out invites, people uh, don't uh, accept the invitation. So you can pull those invitations back, but we don't – the process to do that is a little bit longer. And all of a sudden you end up building up – um, all the people that you've reached out to and, and then, you know, LinkedIn kind of knocks you for that. Um, and then also if it's been three months and people haven't added you, then they're not either active or they don't really want to connect with you. So why bother? So, um, I set mine for even less than a month because if they haven't checked their LinkedIn or don't want to connect with me within uh, two weeks or even three, three weeks, that's what I have. Then, Really, I don't want to be uh, don't want to be interacting with them very much. So I just pull that back, and that keeps um, this system and flow being able to go. So I hope you found that this was uh, a powerful tool, and um, if you've gotten signed up with it already, hope this has helped you to see what you could do and how you can do that. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me or or or, or ask a question in the comments, and. Uh, if you are looking to do any kind of uh, business development or outreach or automated outreach, you need to get Zopto. This is so imperative. For your business. <laughs> so imperative for your business.